What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be rocking out with Skelly Dirge on the Series 2 ranked double ladder. You guys are in the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But like I already said, we're using Skelly Dirt on Series 2 Ladder. This is my first time using this lovely little alligator, so I'm super excited to rock out with him and see how he does across the meta. But we got Bax Caliber to get us started here with today's team preview. The normal exchange and the loaded dice. Been seeing this Bax Caliber a lot. It is so strong and very good for Series 2, so I like this Pokemon right here. It's got Icicle Spear, it's got Glaive Rush, Swords Dance to set up that attack boost, and then last but not least, we got Protect. Second Pokemon is going to be Water Tauros. And this Water Tauros is pretty solid in Series 2. I used it a few times, but it's not the best. But I like its Intimidate ability. Can really get rocking out with it. It's got Mirror Herb as item, Raging Bull, Close Combat, Aqua Jet, and Protect. Third Pokemon is going to be our one and only Paradox Pokemon for its team. It is going to be Fluttermane, who is arguably one of the best Paradox Pokemon in the game. It has Protosynthesis, the Booster, Energy as item, then it's Rocket Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, Taunt, and Protect. Fourth Pokemon is going to be my main man. We got Skelly Dirge over here. Little Fire Alligator or Crocodile. Do not know if it's an Alligator or Crocodile. Don't even know the differences between alligator and crocodile, but this thing's sick. It's got unaware and the leftovers as item. Grass terror type, torch song, shadow ball, slack off, and protect for a crazy strong moveset for any skelly urge. King Gambit's going to be our fifth Pokemon. This Pokemon has been across the meta in Series 1, across the meta in Series 2. It is just that strong. It's got Defiant, it has the Assault Vest, and it's rocking Iron Head, Kowtow Cleave, Brick Break, and Sucker Punch for its moveset. Final Pokemon is going to be our support Pokemon. It is going to be Amoongus, the little spore Pokeball mushroom that annoys me all the time when it spores me, but it's still very strong and I love having it on my team. It's got Regenerator, Covert Cloak as item, rocking out with Leaf Storm, Rage Powder, Spore, and Palm Puff. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Not the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Series 2 Skelly Dirge team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a full Paradox team. War Moon, Iron Moth, Iron Bundle, Great Tusk, Screaming Tail, or Scream Tail, and then Iron Valley. This team's looking stacked. Hopefully, we grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But who should I lead? How should I get after? The, the, the Deli Bird's always a problem. It just seems really tough to kind of get after. So I, I kind of need somebody with first time priority. So Gambit's not going to be bad. Also, Gambit can counter up onto the Scream Tail, get some work done on a few other Pokemon. So I really like King Gambit. Probably for a lead here, right? I like Gambit for the lead. We're going to lead Gambit. So Gambit, you're going to come in here. I am going to also lead probably the Tauros, right? I mean, Tauros isn't bad, especially for uh, Intimidates. So I am going to go with this nice, lovely Tauros for the lead. So we're going to go Tauros. We're going to go King Gambit here. I am going to bring Fluttermane in the back end. Fluttermane gets a lot of work done. And then last but not least, do I go in with Skelly? Or do I go in with a Pokemon more so like Baxcalibur? I think I'm leaning a bit more towards Skelly Dirt here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to bring in the fire. The fire starter for Gen 9. We're looking to get after it. Let's grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But they got a lot of strong Pokemon. And I have no idea what their lead's going to be. I just really think they can really go into anything with six Paradox Pokemon. But we'll see. We'll see. Screamtail is definitely an option. We have Gambit out on the field to kind of counter that. But Roar Moon's also an option here as well. And it's going to be Deli Bird and Valiant. Okay. I feel you. I feel you. Intimidate's gonna come out here. Intimidate's gonna, gonna be pretty good up against Valiant. But Valiant could be special attacking. It could be special attacking. So from here, I might just double down in the deli, try to KO it. With an Aqua Jet and a and a sucker punch. I think that's doable. Let's do it. Let's try to just get rid of Deli Bird. Deli Bird seems like a problem. Deli Bird seems like a problem. Of course. Of course. The one time I double down in Deli Bird. There's like, hey, yo, I'm going to put up a shield. I'm going to block this. That hurts. And now he pretty much picks up a free KO on my whichever Pokemon he wants, right? Hopefully not the Gambit. I'd rather him take out the Tauros. He goes for Gambit. I mean, you might be able to eat that. No, you don't. Yeah, see, like I said, free KO. Probably one of the worst turns we had ever on the channel. <laughs> that was terrible. That was a terrible first turn. Uh, we gotta go into we gotta go into you at this point, right? We gotta go into Fluttermane. We have to we have to we have to make make up some ground. So we are going to go into Flutz. Flutz is coming out here. Um, obviously Dazzling Gleam's got a poke here for us. 
I might even terrestrialize. Am I terrestrialize here? Straight fair, you are. Yeah, I'm gonna terrestrialize. Do that, and then just straight up Aqua Jet. I mean, we know this thing's Focus Ash. So, <clears throat> that's gonna be your play. And some Iron Valiants roll out with Shadow Ball, so. I can get after it. I can get after this. Okay, so rough little start in the beginning. Great protect by our opponent. That's more so what it was. It wasn't a bad turn from us. It was more so a great play from our opponents to protect that Deli Bird. But we got to make up some ground. We got to make up some ground. So we got to flood him in. We're terrestrializing. Let's do it. That Taurus chilling here. Taurus is... See, he'll be all right. He'll be all right. He'll be chipping off some first turn priority damage. And again, we know that Deli Bird is Sash. Like, we already know that. If I can bring it down the... Uh, if I could just take off a Sash with Aqua Jet, I think that this Terrastalize Fluttermane can pick up the KO. We'll see. Aqua Jet coming out here, chipping up a little bit of damage. Come on, Fluttermane. Get off some big time damage. Super effective onto the Valiant as well, which is really lovely for us. So we end up doing that, and the Valiant was Sash. We picked the wrong one. Okay. But we take out the Deli Bird, which is big time for us. And we'll go from there. So Valiant was the one Sash. Moonblast flying out here into Tauros. That thing picks up the KO. So Valiant is just ripping. But I'm not worried about it because I know Dazzling Gleam will pick up the KO here. I don't think that he's rocking any first turn priority. And then I get to bring out the one and only Skelly Dirge. Skelly Dirge, which I like here. So he's going to throw out his next Pokemon. It's going to be Moth. So the Moth does come out here. Um, Poison's looking a little scary, right? Poison is definitely looking a little scary. And I have to gleam though. I have to gleam. Well, I just protect you this turn. What do I want to do here? What, what's Valiant gonna go for, right? What are you gonna do, Valiant? What are you gonna do here? Because I'm thinking of just protecting this thing, hitting the Iron Moth, and then going from there. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm terrified because I need to keep this Fluttermane alive. I really do. So he goes for the Shadow Ball. Of course, it's ripping the Shadow Ball. Can you soak that? Can. Okay, so that's a big time soak. Sludge Wave does come in hot here. And he's KOing his uh, Valiant. And our Skelly Dirge E. So that's actually not a bad turn right there. That's actually not too bad. That thing loses some HP to Life Orb. We're able to get off a Shadow Ball. Can we get the Special Defense Drop as well? Nice jam is there. No Defense Drop. But my leftovers are triggering. So I'm getting back a little bit of HP. Um, hmm. What is my play here now? He's going to throw out his final Pokemon. And it's going to be Roar Moon. Roar Moon, probably going to Thrasalize, right? And it could Thrasalize into Steel. I might just Torch Song into that. <clears throat> I might just Torch Song, and I might just go for the Shadow Ball KO. The Shadow Ball might have a chance to KO here. Let me see. What's your special attack? 144, 187. You have a chance to KO in this thing with a Shadow Ball. And you know, I'm going to say screw it, and I'm going to just go for that. And I think this thing terrestrializes, so I'm just going to Torch Song into it. Or I can actually slack off this turn and just see. But he does have a dark move, which is really, really scary. Do I slack off for some HP? No, because if he hits me once, I die anyway. I might as well attack this thing. Again, I think he terrestrializes and potentially steal, so I'm just going to Torch Song into it. He just protects. That's fine. So he ends up protecting. Can the Shadow Ball pick up the KO? I see big time the Shadow Ball picks up the KO. Pick up the KO. Come on. Come on, Flutz. Ah! Uh, no! It's ugly! That's so ugly! That's so ugly we don't pick up the KO there. Can he eat? Yeah, Fluttermane, you're not eating. But I live on one. That's game, set, match. Wow, yo. Iron Moth living on one. We had that one on lock if Fluttermane picks up the KO. I even looked at the stats. I was just like, yo, you have a you have a well over a stat than Skelly Dirge. So I thought we were going to be able to pick up the KO there. It lives on like one or two HP. And we end up losing this battle. That's ugly. That is real ugly. That one hurts. That one definitely hurts. That one definitely hurts. But I'm just going to run this one. This Pokemon obviously outspeeds me. He's going to use 100% accuracy move. It's going to be GG's. But dude, cannot believe we lost that last battle. Let's hop into our second match and grab ourselves our first win.
It always hurts to lose a battle like that. Just when you think you make the right call, a Pokemon lives on one HP and you end up losing a battle because of it. But it is all good. Let's hop through a second match. Look for a first win. Going up against an Iron Bundle and Bax Caliber team with Fluttermane, Iron Hands, Arcanine, and last but not least, Gargonackle. So this team is actually looking crazy strong. Delibird's always a problem, so I gotta watch out for that. I think King Gambit is going to be a solid lead for us again, so I am gonna end up leading the King Gambit. So Gambit, you're in here. I might even go Fluttermane, considering it has that uh, boost energy and the speed. I do like that. I definitely do like that. And we could dodge fake outs with that. Can indeed dodge fake outs, but Iron Hand might even come out here. Hmm. I could go Covert Cloak Amoongus. Which I'm thinking of doing. I'm thinking of just going here and Covert Cloak and Amoongus, just in case the fake out wants to come out turn one. I think that's a solid play for us. I really do like that. He does have Gargle Knackle in the back end. I could go into a Pokemon like Bex Caliber to kind of deal with that. But I'm thinking Bull's not bad here either. What do I want to do? Gambit's good up against the other Pokemon, but once the Gargle Knackle comes out, it seems like it's going to be a problem. I'm going to bring Bex Caliber and then last Pokemon. Hmm. Who do I want here? I think we go in with the bull, right? I think the bull can, can get some work done, especially with Intimidates on some of these physical attackers. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. So we're locking it in. We are locking it down. Let's grab ourselves a win here in match number one. We got our support Amoongus. Might sprinkle a little bit of spores on some Pokemon. We'll see. But I'm really leading it because I had the Covert Cloak, and if he wants to go into my Iron Hands, he's going to fake it out, and we can pretty much get off a free turn. I can put somebody to sleep. We kind of go from there. And, of course, he does not lead it at all. So we got Amoongus chilling here. Um, we got our Flutter Mane. I could Rage Powder this shot if I wanted to. Iron Bundle's going to boost its speed, which mm, kind of sucks. And I'm going to boost my speed as well, but I think Iron Bundle outspeeds me by a tad bit. Just a little bit. So he might even just go into a, what's it called? He might just go into an Icy Wind. You know, I'm going to rip a Shadow Ball into that thing. And I, or I could throw him off here. I could do this. You know, we are going to do this. Let's go here with a Protect. And we're going to get off some damage onto this thing. We're just going to Leaf Storm it. <laughs> we're just going to Leaf Storm it. Leaf Storm with the Moogus. Trying to rip right off right off the bat. So Icy Wind does come out. He wants to outspeed. That's 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 his thing. He wants to outspeed here. If I had to guess, Deli Bird is going to be sashed up. But still, it could be good. And there's the Shadow Ball. So Shadow Ball flies over there. We're protected. He's probably like, what is Amoongus doing? Put me to sleep or something? Nah, we're just Leaf Storming. <laughs> we're just Storming. And we're KOing, yo. Amoogus right off the rip. That's a, that's a great play for us. That's a great play. Now I'm free to uh, Shadow Ball freely. I can Rage Powder. I like this. I like to end. And my Fluttermane should outspeed. My Fluttermane should outspeed. I'm still going to Rage Powder just to uh, block some shots. But yeah, Fluttermane should outspeed. Arcanine's going to come out here. That is fine. I kind of do think that their Fluttermane protects here. I could Thrasalize in the water, but I don't think I wasted time. Do I just Shadow Ball you down? I am, because I think the Fluttermane does protect me. I'm just going to Rage Powder across the board here. He ends up Terrasalizing. That's fine. Okay, so he ends up Terrasalizing. Probably in the Straight Fairy, correct? Like most Flutters. Yeah, Straight Fairy. And he's looking to get off some damage with Dazzle Gleam. We know we outspeed it, so... I think we can be good. I still have my Terra as well, if I want to use it. But Rage Powder's going to fly here. Probably gonna gonna end up flare blitz in me, right? That's some mean flare blitz. Shadow ball flies. But I did think that his flutter main was protected, and we chip up some nice damage. Do not get the drop, and oh, he's shadow ball, and I'm fine with that. Cause you should be able to soak that, right? Yep. And then flare blitz, we soak that as well. Or well, you don't soak it, but we take the damage away from flutter main. So really good work from Amoongus. Amoongus rage powder and shots, taking out Iron Bundle, who's probably their best Pokemon, and then we're going from there. This thing ends up having a berry. And it eats it after turn of Citrus Berry because of the recoil damage. But from here, I think we just bring out the bull. The bull outspeeds Arcanine. The bull 100% outspeeds Arcanine. And we could Terra here as well. This wouldn't be a bad Terra. This would not be a bad Terra right in the steel. I'm kind of with it. I'm kind of with it. Plus, we get off Intimidate. So, yeah, Fluttermane seems like it has to go. So I might just double down into it. I'm gonna double down to Fluttermane. 
I'm gonna terrestrialize and I could close combat, but I'm just gonna rage and bull this. The reason I'm terrestrializing is just in case the Cleveland's come out here. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get rid of Fluttermane, because once I get rid of this Fluttermane, Taurus can clean up the Arcanine, no problem. Arcanine might even protect her. It is minus one on the attack slot. I don't think we're sitting too bad. I don't think we're sitting too bad. Plus, I need to get rid of Fluttermane, considering it's super effective onto my Fluttermane, onto my Tauros. Well, not anymore, because I terrestrialize, and onto my Bax's Calibre. So yeah, this thing has got to go if we want a chance to win this match. So I terrestrialize my Tauros straight steal, baby. We straight stealing. And this is the time that I wish I had Terra Blast, because obviously I can just KO in one shot. And Shadow Ball's gonna fly. We double down into this thing, trying to get some KOs. If not, I can always uh, go into a. Oh, you moon blasting into my Tauros? Is that Tauros? Oh, that's huge. Wow, that still did insane amount of damage. It still did an absurd amount of damage. But Rage Bull comes in there, picks up the KO, and that is the exact reason why we Terrasalize there. Was to protect us from a moon blast or Dazzling Gleam. That works. Arcanine's probably gonna fly what's my flutter main. No, you go for a snarl. Okay. I'm still gonna rage and bully you next turn. Drop my special attack. I'm cool with that. I'll deal with it. And then we have Bax Calibur in the back, and they have one more Pokemon as well. And it's gonna be Bax Calibur of their own, who they cannot terror. So I'm just gonna gleam. And I'm just gonna rage and bull. I'm chilling with this. I'm, I'm cool with this. So we gleam. We go into rage and bull. We know we outspeed the Arcanine. Unless it's E speeding, but it can't E speed my flutter main. It's not gonna do really any damage to my. Tauros. And we go from there. So back scalper protects. That's cool. Again, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. Because Raging Bull's gonna probably KO, right? Probably KO the Arcanine. But what a solid second battle for us from us. Like I said, we were coming in this battle. We're looking for a win. That's exactly what we're doing here. Rage Bull, again, should pick up the KO, no problem. Tauros is getting work done in this battle. I saw Tauros when I was looking at our opponent's team, I was just like, actually, we need Tauros. Gargle Knackle. Also rocking out with uh, Arcanine. Those were two Pokemon I was worried about, and that's the reason I brought Tauros. But it actually came in a lot more clutch when that Fluttermane came through here. But now I can just drop a close combat. I can drop a Dazzle Gleam. And this match is over. This match is over. No problem. Even minus one Fluttermane. Oh, well, we got a crit. <laughs> I was going to say Fluttermane still dumps on Max Caliber. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. One and one. Let's hop into our third and final battle. Look for a winning record. Third and final battle coming at you guys. We're going up against a similar team that I use with the Jump Bluff and Torkoal combo. They also have Indeedy and Armouge, which is one of the best combos in the game at the moment. And then they got Mousehold, and last but not least, Primate. Have not seen Primate on the rank ladder. Its new evolution is definitely 10 times stronger with Annihilate, but Primate seems like it can get some work done. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take it lightly. But how should I play this one? Who should I go into? I'm scared of Indeedy and Armouge. It is just a problem terrifying right and it's just a terrifying problem so king gambit really doesn't do too bad there so i'm gonna end up leading gambit and i might lead skelly skelly but get skelly dirge out here i like skelly dirge i really like skelly dirge you know i am gonna end up leading the skelly skelly dirge so skelly dirge king gambit gonna be our lead i am going to bring in obviously fluttermane in the backing because fluttermane is a beast and then last but not least hmm actually we might want to lead the fluttermane right we have taunt we do have Taunt to try to counteract Trick Room, but if he's going to go in the Trick Room, he's just going to pop it with Armourouge and Ndidi. That seems like it's going to be a problem. So maybe we just bring in Amoogus just for sleeps and stuff like that. Could be good. Could definitely be good. I'm all about it. Amoogus, you're coming in here. You were definitely coming in here. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a winning record here in match number three. But I always struggle with Ndidi and Armourouge combo. So if you guys have any tips about that... Leave them in the comment section down below. I love to read them and then uh, start using them next time I burst them. Because, again, I always struggle with them. And it's just a problem. It's just a problem. I feel like, like once every three videos, we get steamrolled by one. Well, let's see. Okay, cool. Not the lead, but um, a little scared because he could pop bomb me. And I don't even think he's going to pop bomb me, right? Kind of sitting here like, I'm not going to pop bomb me. Because I got... These two Pokemon on the field, which I really like. I feel like here we just start Torch Song and getting our uh, we start getting our attack stat up. It ends up withdrawing in DD into who? That's the real question. He withdrawing into. I'm Kaltau cleaving that slot. Let me prime him. So pop. He's trying to pop bomb here into you. What does that do? What does that do? Is the real question. I'm terrified. But we're killing that thing anyway. We're doubling down into that. What does pop bombing that thing do? I get my attack boost. Oh, we, we're sitting great. 
What is that combo there? Because I don't really know what Primate does. <gasps> Come on now. Really? I mean, we're just going to Terra here. Can't suck a punch. Really? That just happened? That just happened. I'm going to Cow Attack Leave again, just in case he wants to uh, swap. Actually, we're going to Brick Break. Just in case the What's Call comes through here. Just in case the Follow Me comes through. And that's when I just keep ripping towards songs. That, 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 that's, that's a painful thing right there. I think he's looking to Drain Punch, but I, I don't know what Pop Bombing him did there. I kind of want to, I kind of want to look this up. So we're going to look up Primeape's abilities and stuff. I'm very confused on that. So here's Primeape. What abilities do you got? Defiant, Vital Spirit, or Anger Point. Here's the Follow Me. And... He's just going, oh, he has Rage Fist. This thing learns Rage Fist, so that's exactly what he wants to do. And he just dumps on me. Okay. Makes sense now. I did not know th that thing learns Rage Fist. Shouldn't that just be an Annihilate move? Right? It makes the most sense for it to be Annihilate. But I'm kind of thriving here because I just bring out you. And I can Gleam and Outspeed all you guys. And pick up KOs, double KOs. And I could swap and save my... I could straight up save my Gambit here. If I want to swap game, but I can. I'm trying to think. He has Indeedy in the back end. Do we think he has Arm Rouge? It is a possibility. I would more so... Yeah, I would think it's Arm Rouge here. And he wants to try to pop off Trick him, but I think we're, we have this match unlocked. I do think we have this match unlocked, but you know what? I'm just going to Brick Brick here. And I'm just going to Dazzle and Gleam across the board. That should be pretty much... This should put us in a good position here. If follow me comes out here, it doesn't matter. Again, we're gleaming. This is exactly why I brought out Fluttermane. But I was very curious what, what this combo was. Why didn't he just lead the combo? I guess he was just like, okay, Indeedy on the field. But I don't get what the lead was about. The Indeedy and the Mouse Hold? It didn't really make sense. It didn't really make sense. Unless he wanted to just pop bomb into me. But it seemed like his pop bomb was weak, right? It was weak for a reason to pop the Rage Fist and all that. But yeah, I just feel like he should have led the Prime Ape and the, and the Mouse Hold. He's forced to throw out Indeedy, and then he's going to show us his final Pokemon. I can legit take out Indeedy, maybe one shot. And it's going to be Torkoal. So the lovely little Torkoal comes out here, which I am a little scared of. So Indeedy could definitely go for the follow me. Follow me could definitely come out here. And he's probably going to throw slice. In this case, I'm just going to Cow Attack Leave. And I am going to Shadow Ball. Or not Shadow Ball. I am going to Dazzle Gleam. The reason I want to Dazzle Gleam is to just take off some damage on the Torkoal, because it's probably going to erupt. Probably terrestrializing and erupting and getting after me that way. And this could be awful. This could be awful. And no follow me comes out here. We chip up a little bit of damage. Can Gambit outspeed? Does not. So, he chips up some damage on both of us. Count out Cleave should KO, no problem. And now it's just Torkoal. And I'm still kind of scared. We did get a crit, but the crit didn't matter. You were dead anyway. Get on, get on out of here. I'm terrified. Is this eruption? It's Fire Bust. Even better. Are you missing it? Who rocks Fire Blast on Torkoal? Okay, that's GG's. We got this match on lock. Now we just count that cleave. We throw a little bit of Shadow Ball action over here. Game, set, match. Battle is canceled. 2-1 for today's video. Grab yourselves a lovely winning record. So guys, we lost our first battle for today's video, but made up for it in battle number two and battle number three by grabbing ourselves a win and showcasing this team really, really well. We got the King Gambit out there. We got the Skelly Urge. Flutter Main did a lot of the carrying. Tauros was amazing. And then we had Baxcalibur and Amoogus who got in there a little bit in today's performance. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.